I am doing one meal a day this week. I'm gonna show you an example of what I eat, so stay tuned. everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Lydia if you're new here I have been on a keto weight loss journey for a little bit over two years <laughs> I am on my quest to lose at least a hundred pounds but overall I want to lose 115 pounds currently I'm sitting at about 95 pounds lost so I'm just so close to that big milestone of losing a hundred pounds and when I do I've got some champagne chilling, waiting to be popped because this has been a long time coming. Now this is not a diet for me. It's not a temporary way of eating until I hit my ideal weight that I see for myself. This has become a way of life and I have struggled with weight almost my entire life. I think since fifth grade up, <laughs> I have been yo-yoing up and down and I've lost weight and I've gained weight and I have tried every diet in the book. And so if you're new here, you can watch some of those old videos where I talk about literally my experience in gaining weight and losing weight and the struggle that has brought me here today. So I am doing OMAD this week, and that is one meal a day. Now, it started off just doing intermittent fasting. I was doing really well in the beginning of my journey doing intermittent fasting where I fast for a certain number of hours every single day, and then I'll eat within a eight hour window. So I was doing 16, eight, 16 fasting, 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of an eating window. When I did that, I felt like it was working. The hardest, hardest part for me is not drinking my coffee first thing in the morning. I started doing that and then there went the intermittent fasting. So last week I started back up intermittent fasting or actually two weeks ago I did intermittent fasting, saw great results. Last week I did intermittent fasting and I started doing one meal throughout the day because my struggle was planning dinners and eating dinners even though I wasn't hungry. And so I was like, well, if I eat a big enough lunch I'm not even gonna be hungry for dinner so it's a it's a non-issue so that's what I did last week I've been doing really well I lost even more weight last week so this week again I am doing one meal a day but I wanted to show you an example of what I ate now I'm not tracking I'm not weighing I'm not measuring anything I'm literally just eating a pretty big meal. I'm not trying to eat like five meals in one. I'm just eating a substantial size meal. And if I eat it later in the afternoon or morning, like let's say around one or two, because that's usually when I'm hungry. If I drink my coffee at about 10 a.m. or so, nine or 10, that holds me over until about 12, 30, one o'clock, then I'll start getting lunch together. And if I make a big enough like dinner sized meal for lunch, and finished eating by two, I find myself good for the rest of the day, not hungry for dinner, ready to get to bed early enough and do it again the next day. So I'm gonna show you what I am gonna eat today. Now I don't have anything planned. I don't have a menu <laughs> filled out. I don't have plans for dinners or breakfasts or lunch because when I plan it I'll eat it whether I'm hungry or not that's been the common theme of my life so today I'm just going to show you intuitively what I am having and who knows the calories who knows any of that but um, I guess I should track it after the fact just out of curiosity to see how much did I eat all right I think that'll be the experiment for today. We're gonna go ahead and eat whatever I want and then afterwards track it and see what my calories ended up being today. All right, so come check it out. Good morning, happy Tuesday, it's 9.07 and I am breaking my fast with a coffee, a collagen coffee. Oh my God, I am so hungry this morning because we closed our eating window so early after lunch yesterday uh, that I'm looking forward to my coffee. My coffee curbs my appetite and then I'll see when I get hungry after that. But it's nine, so I see myself possibly eating 
breakfast, but if I'm gonna do one meal a day, it's either gonna have to be a really big breakfast or a really long breakfast, a breakfast lunch kind of meal. So uh, I'm gonna drink this coffee and we will see how I feel in a minute. All right, I have my collagen coffee and I have the almond cookies that I made over the weekend. Nobody else is eating them. My son says he liked them, but it tastes a lot like the cornbread, which is funny because it's made pretty much with the same ingredients as the cornbread, except for like the almond extract and um, I believe more swerve um, sweetener. So I'm gonna have these two little cookies to break my fast. Um, just because I should get them out of here if nobody's going to eat them. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't bake these things. All right, it is 1 o'clock and it is time for me to make lunch uh, because I don't want to eat too, too late. I want to be able to close that window up early. I did snack on maybe a handful of these salt and pepper pistachios. Uh, and I did have those two keto cookies with my coffee this morning. I am kind of keeping a running track just so at the end of the day we can see what I truly, truly ate today, but I'm not counting it until after I've made it. So I don't want, I want it to truly be what I would have served myself and then after the fact go, wow, I ended up eating uh, 3,000 calories today or wow, I only had, you know, 800 calories. <laughs> I'm not eating all that much. So that's kind of the whole purpose of me keeping track after the fact, uh, after I've eaten today. All right, so I have no idea what to make for lunch today. We do have some leftover chicken fajitas that I do want to use before they go bad. Uh, I bought some low carb tortillas yesterday. I did buy a an enchilada sauce kind of that I am really curious to use. So I may just kind of make myself some fried chicken or enchiladas. Um, hmm. Or I don't even have to use the tortillas. I can just put it, I have some of the folio wraps. Okay, I think I have an idea. All right, so the plan is, it's not a very clean keto day today, but here's my leftover chicken. I'm going to make little chicken taquitos and fry them up in some avocado oil maybe put some cheese on it and the new enchilada sauce that i bought is this that green sauce and it's mild i got it at heb so we're gonna try that kind of make our own little chicken enchiladas taquitos and see how they go All right, so here is the finished product. I made these chicken enchilada taquitos. I put some chicken and cheese inside. I used that green, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> that green chili sauce, uh, melted shredded cheese on top, some light sour cream, and some Frank's Red Hot. So that is my fried taquitos today. All right, so I went ahead and put everything into my app after the fact. Everything, my coffee, the two cookies I ate, this lunch. Like I said, uh, we're gonna see how I feel at the end of this. I don't know if that's enough protein for me, so I may heat up some more chicken in another bowl and eat that before I close my window. But where I am right now is I switched my app now. Instead of saying total carbs, it says net carbs. And now I'm less having a heart attack because it was like 56 total carbs or something like that thanks to the cookies and the low carb tortillas. So right now my coffee and my cookies that I had uh, this morning was 340 calories with four net carbs and lunch with the two uh, low carb tortillas, some shredded cheese, some chicken, that, that green sauce is not very low carb. It's four uh, grams of carbs for four tablespoons because I did put a lot. I guess if I would have put two, it would have just been a little bit. And then the sour cream. So this lunch is only 434 calories with 11 net carbs. So right now I'm at 17 net carbs. I only have 55 grams of protein. Uh, I'm at 61 grams of fat and I'm at 850 calories. So I'm thinking uh, I may just add maybe about three or four more ounces of chicken and just kind of eat it like that on the side. Um, but if this is the only meal that I have, uh, if all my meals were 850 calories, I mean, that's really 
a lot less than what I used to eat when I would eat two meals, even a smaller meal and a larger dinner, still came out to 13, 14, calor 100 calories a day. So that's eye-opening. <laughs> that's eye-opening, you know, it's really interesting. It's like, oh, when you eat one meal a day, I guess that makes sense. Your calories completely got shrunk down. But the thing, the fact of the matter is, is I didn't need to eat more. Like I eat this one meal. Yes, it's 800 calories or really this one is 400, but with the coffee and everything, 800 and I'm good. Like I'm not hungry, you know, at all for the rest of the day, especially if it has an ample amount of fat or protein to kind of keep me satiated throughout my day. So I'm not mad at it. I kind of dig in this one meal a day. It's less stress on myself. I can make the kids food and not sit down especially when they want spaghetti and pasta I'm not gonna eat that anyway so you know it's been a little less stressful for me and it's been working so far so I'm gonna continue doing it and see where we end up hopefully at 165 where I hit 100 pounds lost <laughs> that's the immediate goal right now all right so I went ahead and did four ounces of chicken heated it up added it to my app today just so I could see where that really ends up my day uh, so right now I have ingested a total of 1046 calories 19 grams of protein so that helped pick it up the net carbs stayed the same and the fat is stayed the same because it's chicken breast so i'm going to eat that just so i can pump up the protein and then i'm going to close my eating window and start fasting for tomorrow so that is it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed already make sure to hit that subscribe button now and that notification bell so you find out when all the videos are getting posted leave me a comment I would love to hear from you. Are you on keto? Are you doing one meal a day? Are you doing intermittent fasting? How is it working for you? Post it in the comments below. I love to learn off of you guys as much as possible. So I'd love to hear about it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.